Hey everyone, how you doing? <clears throat> it is Thursday. It's past half two. Uh, we're kind of late today than we normally do our live chats, but that's because I was in a meeting with Mark. So Mark came down and we had a we had a good, productive, nearly three hour meeting, which sounds like a lot, but it was very productive. A good chat about stuff. Uh, the business, ideas, things we're taking forward, developing, stuff like that. And of course, when you have a three-hour meeting, you come back to tons of messages. So anyone who's been waiting on me to reply to a message, really sorry, but I will get back to you right now, okay? But I hope you're all okay. I hope you're all all right. I'll put that back up there with the email address. And we'll have a little bit of music playing in the background as well. Nothing like a bit of music, hey? But don't worry, it won't be playing forever. And I do have to actually change the music and have different ones on. Otherwise it gets really repetitive, right? But let's take it off. Like so just got to reply to an email that's coming from someone. Um, it's a very nice message as well, by the way. Someone who's really thankful for all the support we've been uh, giving them via the videos and stuff like that. That's really, really nice. Just replying to someone who's um, um, actress and she knows she's been struggling quite a lot with work during the pandemic and I really hope things take off for her pretty soon. Hey George, how you doing my friend? Yeah, we've rebranded it. So rather than calling it a live chat, because um, when you see the word live chat, you assume it's just going to be a person working at their machine. And they don't really interact with the audience, do they? They don't talk. They just have music playing and they're just like this. You know, they're just working, which is fine. So slightly changed it so that the um, the live chats are now the Kick-Ass Chat Show. How are you doing, George? Um, how are you doing? Hey, Mark. Ah, you're home. <laughs> it it look see no joke right how long it took for me to get live um and hopefully you will have seen now the cover art for this as well so putting into motion everything we said we'd do ha got home Straight into the office room. Ooh, Amelia. Um, I've not used Amelia much. Used it once in a testing phase about two years ago. Not really used it much since then at all. I mean, I say not used much. I haven't used it at all. So I don't know what it's been like in the last two years. Is it, is it relatively still easy? It's nice when you get a message from someone on email just thanking you for all the help and support you give. It's really, really nice. So um, just writing a message back to them and say thank you so much means a lot. But it does, doesn't it? 
It is, yeah. That's the one thing about the Amelia. I mean, it, it's very obvious that all the money they make, because they are a premium plugin, it just seems like they care and they are investing back into their products, aren't they? So that's really good. I feel like I need a wider screen. No, I don't need a wider screen. I need a wide screen with a really tall screen. Sometimes when you have a wide screen, you're like that. If you had a tall screen, you would just go like that with your eyes in it up and down. So George got an email yesterday during the chat from a client. Isn't that nice? Do you know when you see that, George? Isn't that nice? Hey, Peter, how are you? It's really nice. You know, it's um, it reminds me of when you get an email from your, your manager or someone else at work where they are going, they did great work. They helped make a difference. It's like, um, it's so, it's like reassuring. It's like a pat on the back. Hey, Mahboob, how you are? Well, how, can't get my words out. How are you, Mahboob? I just had a couple of spoons of rice after meeting with Mark. And I tell you what, I haven't had rice in a while. Boy, does it make you want to have rice, but I've got to be careful. I don't like having too many carbs. So for anyone that is wondering about the Kick-Ass Chat shows, because we've just been adding a bit of branding into it rather than calling it just the live chat. Ah, but Mark, I don't recall getting an email, Mark, but I did get a Bravo, quite a few Bravos. So for me, the Bravos were properly... In fact, where we work, Mark, and you know what I'm talking about, you would rather have a Bravo. If someone sent you an email to say, hey, thank you, you'd be like, I don't care. Send me a Bravo. Where's my Bravo? Right? Don't care about the email. Where's the Bravo? Hey, Pixstar, how are you? Back to the comments, by the way, Pixstar, on the video, right, about the, uh, the URL links. All right. Good, good. Good knowledge there you passed on. Nice one, Mahboob. I hope um I hope I ho I hope they're all useful. It's I mean the, the person who's emailed me, they're just trying to sort out their career. But then they're looking forward to joining the mastery membership. So I hope they sort out their career and they come and join us on their, their journey. Hey, Stacey, how you doing? Peter, random question. Have you tried any type of cold call? Um, OK, cold calling. If you know the businesses are advertising and they haven't got a website or they've got a really old website, then you could contact them because they're already out there. However, if you just call them up and, they, and they're not actively advertising or um, you will just contact them because you found their number somewhere in a directory, that can switch people off, you know, because they might be like, who are you? What are you calling me for? I'm busy. So I, I'm not a fan of cold calling. I only call up people who I know are after some work 
or they're advertising themselves on social media or whatever. And when I look at their website or lack of website, I then go, hmm, this is really dated. You're missing a trick. Sorry, cold calling. Yeah, I think you know what I mean by Peter. So I would say... But yeah, if I know they're already advertising in a magazine or on the internet and the website looks really dated, I would probably contact them, you know. But I would try and give them a reason like, hey, I looked at your website, you know, I can see what your business is about, but I feel like you're missing the trick. So a landscaper, I might say, look, I looked at your website, but compared to everyone else, it's not working very well. So Carapass, I hope you're okay, mate. Uh, Mahboob, have you launched your new video about removing unused CSS tutorial yet? Um, no, that's end of April, but there is a video about removing unused JavaScript coming out end of April. W2R Sales, do you have a go-to speed optimization plugin for Elementor? Um... Speed optimization does depend um, a lot on your server speed. Number one, your server speed. But auto-optimize, what George just said, he said it exactly what I was about to say, auto-optimize. Yeah, exactly what George said there. Wow, George and me are on the same page today. No, George, your, your server, right, is the number one key reason why your speed will be slow. You could have... You could pay a thousand pounds for the best optimization tool in the world, but if your server is GoDaddy, you're sinking. If your server is Bluehost, you're going to explode. You know, supernova, boom, you're out of here. Stacy says, Do you know of something I can use to create a Um, so you could just use an elemental form, right? You could just use an elemental form with loads of fields and then you could have a upload CV or upload evidence or upload certificates. You could do that. George, you speak the truth. Everybody, right now, I want everyone to stop typing and just give George a round of applause. Because he speaks the truth. If you decide to use GoDaddy, no one can help you. <laughs> That's why we're the kick-ass chat show, all right? GoDaddy, we just kicked your ass. <coughs> yep, Forminator as well. So I would, my options would be either Elemental Pro, because you've got upload functionality as well, or Forminator. Again, loads of functionality. And I would just go for that. Helpless forever. Ooh, Mahboob, Mahboob. Don't use Canva Pro for websites hosting. Canva Pro is only good for like, um, you can do certain pages, but you are very limited, right? Trust me, SEO, security, your speed, Loads and loads of stuff are going to hurt you. Don't use Canva Pro for websites. I am really don't. I'm telling you now, don't. I've seen what it does. I even played with it. Don't, all right? It's like putting a presentation up as your website. It will only get you so far. Trust me. Don't rely on that, okay? Get this, everyone. Get this. I was talking to Mark about this earlier, right? Um, no, Paul, Paul, Peter, I don't recommend Bluehost either. Um, I recommend SiteGround or you could use the Elemental Cloud Hosting as well, right? SiteGround is my favorite. I do not recommend Bluehost. I do not recommend GoDaddy, right? Because I tell you what, if you join GoDaddy, your mommy ain't going to be happy. Yep, George is right there. Forminator's got conditions. I mean, me and George, we love what Forminator can do with calculated conditions. Um, 
Very quickly back to the question, though. Um... Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I was talking to Mark. So we had a client who decided to move their website to GoDaddy. GoDaddy migrated... Listen to this. GoDaddy migrated the website, right? Now there's issues with it. Guess what GoDaddy have said to the client? Guess what they've said? They've told the client, deactivate and uninstall Elementor. And then add it again later on. And I've said to the client, yes, you can do that. Old client, by the way. Yes, you can do that. But the minute you uninstall it, six out of your seven pages are going to stop working. The website is built made with practically all Elemental. You uninstall Elemental, your website is going to completely just break and look tragic. And I said, why are GoDaddy saying that? GoDaddy migrated your website. Half the plugins they mi migrated were deactivated. Your search console isn't connected. Your rank math and all of that disappeared. It's nothing to do with Elementor. Ah, Dave, let them do it, Dave. Let them do it, because then when they mess up, they'll come back to you. And what you then got to do is charge them, not only for the work, but also correcting what they did. Right? So let's say you said, hey, it's £50. You got to increase it to £70 now. Exactly, George. Nothing to do with Elementor. But they don't, they don't hear that, do they? And the fact the client is now was like going to do it. I'm like, mm, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. When you uninstall, we're not even talking about deactivate. They want them to deactivate and uninstall it. How? What? What's that got to do with the other plugins? So there you go, everyone. This is GoDaddy. This is me taking a run up and kick ass. That is why for clients who don't have a massive website, I'm going to refer them and advise they use Elemental Cloud. Because at least then, if there was issues, you're talking to a support team that understand Elemental, right? Whereas you go to GoDaddy, Bluehost, all of them, they always blame the page builder. Oh, it's Elementor. Oh, it's an update. Oh, it's not us. You know, we're billionaires. It's not us. <sighs> the fact that GoDaddy are still operational just makes me... I just, oh God, you know, how can they still be operational? Why? But of course they are, right? Because everyone gets sucked in to using them, right? It's awful, 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 awful. Go Sadi, <laughs> go Sadi. <laughs> Everyone, careful, everyone. Don't say a word. Don't say a word. We are now opening ourselves up to libel action. Any minute now, a lawsuit is going to land in all of your email boxes because we are talking bad about GoDaddy. In fact, I may change the name of this show from Kick-Ass Chat Show to the GoDaddy Crap Show. Who's up for it? Give me a smiley face if you think we should rename this to the GoDaddy Crap Show. Who's up for it? Smiley face if you think we should. Because I'll tell you now, I'm not going to, but I just want to know who thinks that was a good idea or not. Sad face if it was not a good idea. Oh my God, George, I'm not really going to do it, okay? So I'm going to disappoint you now. We are not doing it. No pics. Oh God, don't. Now you're putting pressure on me. Wouldn't it be funny if tomorrow I did do that? Do you think we would get we would get spammed and attacked by a million GoDaddy people? Do you know what? <laughs> T 
tomorrow. Okay, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow. <laughs> Go Daddy would send a lawsuit, but the server would time out. <laughs> that is so funny. That's brilliant. Creep. I'll tell you what, right, okay. Let me sleep on it and maybe tomorrow I will call the show for one day only. Tomorrow, I'm going to call it the GoDaddy Crap Show. <laughs> GoDaddy Crap Show, God. I know, to be honest, though, it's probably a bad idea, isn't it? GoDaddy, never go happy. <laughs> it reminds me of that. <laughs> It reminds me of that line from the Trolls movie where the cloud comes out. And what does he say? Um, what does he say? Um, who's your daddy? Something slappy. Was it how slappy? Who's your daddy? Something like that anyway. It reminds me of that. Oh dear. Right. Let me just take a backup of someone's website while we're doing this show. Like, seriously, this person's website, the homepage, the blog, the, everything is Elementor. You uninstall Elementor and it is going to look like a 2022 mess. Well, no, it's hello, so it'll be fine. It'll still be hello, but it will look like an absolute mess. Mark is right, though. We would be giving them... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we would be giving them publicity, right? So uh, Mark is right. We should not give him publicity. Oh, dear. I don't... <laughs> See, look, this is what the client's done, right? They've already got rank math, and now they've gone and included all-in-one SEO. <sighs> Why? You don't... You've already got rank math. You don't need all-in-one SEO. Right? You don't need it. What's this? Two and a... Oh... Oh, right, this was the GoDaddy one, wasn't it, George? Yes, I remember that. I know, that's why I won't do it, Pixstar. I'm only saying it, I won't really. Hey, by the way, we love GoDaddy. Right, we love Go Daddy. There's my meme. Right. Uh, I don't know who is advising my ex-client here, but they've got rank math and now they've gone and got all in one SEO as well. I'm a little bit worried about whoever is advising them. Seriously worried. Why would you have two SEO tools on your website plugins? Why? Why, 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 why? Shouldn't do that. Yeah, go on, Mahboob, send the link. Totally, Mark. Totally. Well, it's like, George, um, when, like, um, so someone had uh, three caching plugins on, and I was like, why you got three of them? They were basic. I was like, what you got? They had light speed. WP, WP, no, W3 total cache. And there was another one. I don't know what that one was, but Lightspeed and W3 Total Cash and another third one. I was like, what are you doing? 
They're going, oh, I'm speeding up my website. I go, I go, I said, do you understand Newton's law of motion? You're running, right? Okay, but you're adding on extra baggage. You know, it's like, what? Oh, go on, George. Come on, George. Come on, George. This is the kick-ass chat show. We're kicking ass today, right? Say what you're going to say. By the way, go on, say it. Go on, go, 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 George. Go, 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 go. Go, Georgie. Go, go, go. Go, Georgie. Go, go, go. Georgie, be good. Come on, George, say it. Want to know what's coming? Oh, no. I dare. Okay, how about you email me then, George, and I will not say it. I want to know what's in your head now. I want to know what filth is in your head right now. What dirt was going to pour out your mouth? Come on, George. Come on. And I won't say it, but I want to see it. By the way, Dave, if you're still on here, um, I saw you earlier pop on. Hope the website's going okay with your designs. Thank you, George. Oh, my God. George is going to recommend me a lawyer now, I bet. I've just got to check the, uh, the light... Oh, is it me or has it gone really dark all of a sudden? I think it's gone dark all of a sudden, hasn't it? Let me just adjust the lighting in this room. There you go, that's probably a bit better. The cloud's gone down, you see, so I've just got to adjust the lighting in this room. George. I think I was looking very blue then, wasn't I? Shall I up the temperature? There we go, I'll put it back to about something like that. There we go, that'll do. <laughs> um, no, the background on that, do you know what the background was, uh, Dave? I made a bit of a pattern. I changed the transparency and I just overlapped it. It's just splutch, splatter marks. I just did a splatter. It's just splatter mark. It's it's um the book is set. Uh, so it's a spaceship near Jupiter, and the bottom of the spaceship is where the poor people live, like the under the underworld they call it. So he lives amongst the sewage and the waste and all the rubbish that drops out of the ceiling. They live there, so it's just like splatter marks. Very dark, dingy, that kind of layout. Okay, right. Let me just uh, double check my email, Mapu. Remember, Mapu, you have to say, email me the link, okay? Because you can't paste them over here. So just checking. Email's not come through yet. <laughs> Ice. <laughs> yeah, but to be honest, Dave, don't forget, Dave, this is just an example you're doing, right? So if you want to do ice, go for ice, right? This is just an example you're doing. So if you want to do it, do it. No harm. This is just to help you with your portfolio, isn't it? The sun's getting real low. Uh, Math Boob, can you email it again? Because I haven't received it. Wow. I don't know what's happened here yet, but I'm trying to export this person's website. What I've said to them is, right, okay, if you're going to uninstall it, before you do that, out of the kindness of my heart, I've gone into their website and I'm going to create a backup for them. That's how kind I am. 
They're not even our clients anymore. But I'm saying, look, if this, if you're going to do what GoDaddy have told you, let me create a backup for you. Because you may regret doing what you're about to do. That's how kind we are. Oh, Math Boobs, you emailed me my my email. Math Boob, you did this. Look. Let me show you what you did, Math Boob. <laughs> Look, Math Boob. Look, you emailed me my email. <laughs> right? You emailed me my email. So, I need the link. <laughs> My friend, not my email, because I know my email. Hey, Peter, ask away. Oh, Pixter, I'm too nice. As soon as I as soon as the as soon as their backup's downloaded, I'm just gonna email it to them via WeTransfer. Just to show them that I'm not a bad person. I do care. <laughs> but yeah, I could I could charge them like a million pounds. Right, uh Right, so Math Boob, what is it that you want to know what to do? Are you talking about the animation? What are you talking about? The animation? Because they're all, um, they're animations. It's a video. They're playing videos. That's a video they're playing, Math Boob. So what do you want to know, Math Boob? The, what they're giving you is a video. Yeah, it's lots of videos, mate. They're not even Lotties. They they are actually autoplay videos. They have a slideshow that when you click on the, the tabs, sorry, not the slideshow, they have tabs that when you click, templates come in. But it's it's videos, Math Boob. Yeah, but Math Boob, it's videos. They're just they're just loads and loads of videos. Cheers, George. I'm just waiting for it to come. So Math Boob, the website you were looking at is videos. They got some tabs, vertical tabs. You click on it, a template comes through. But wherever you're seeing animation, they're just videos. So you gotta you gotta get someone to create them for you. So hourly rate, okay, um, if it's like one-off bits of work to support someone, then we do, uh, then you charge by the hour for work if it's not a massive project. Project work depends on how long it's going to take, two days, three days, four days, five days, stuff like that. you got to work out what your daily rate or hourly rate is. It depends on you, your location and your economy. To create that video, Math Boob, you're going to have to hire someone to create it. You'd have to hire someone to create an animated video. Hey, Zoom, how you doing? Um, Math Boob, you'd have to, you'd have to, Fiverr, you'd have to go find someone who can create that kind of video, right? And then charge it back to the client, you know, and it won't be cheap. That kind of video won't be cheap at all. So when it comes to hourly rate, Chingy, it all depends on, like, where you live, who you're working with. Maybe it's a UK-based client, US, Australia, India, Singapore. You've got to look at the economy. You've got to look at what you're doing. Hey, Damp, how you doing? Soon, Raheem does not drink. Raheem does not like fizzy drinks at all. He does not like fizzy drinks at all. Hates them. Try, try Fiverr, Math Boo, but make sure whoever you get 
can prove that they can build stuff like that, all right? Make sure they can prove it. No, no, but George, this is just an animation. <laughs> Unless anyone else wants to do it. <laughs> so, Chingy, client wants to add a blog and an events calendar. Yeah, blog is easy. Adding a blog is easy. Um, so, I would say maybe like what? Three hours work? Four hours work? Right? Um, and an events calendar. So, how long would it take you to do? Would it take you four hours? So what's your rate per hour? You charge him that. You charge him that. I'm just going to look at um, George's email to me. Very nice, George, about point one. Very, very nice. You, yes, wearing multiple, won't you still get that problem? Nice one, George. That's pretty good, George. I like the sound of that. Well, when I need that, I'll get back to you, okay? Don't you love it, though, when that happens? Because we've got, yeah, that is good. That's good. Hey, take care, Matt Boop. Scroll effects and Elementor Limited when making a fancy one page scrolling site. Are there any other plugins? Um, well, Peter, I would say, what is it that you want to achieve? So rather than saying it's limited, you know, like the scrolling effects, what is it you want to achieve? What is it that you want to achieve? Because the scrolling effects, there's quite a lot on there, you know. I mean, don't forget you have the transform function as well to rotate stuff as well. I hear you, George. And, I'm, and I'm, anyway, I'm glad you did that rather than posting it here. Nice one. No, I appreciate And that's really, really nice. Cool, George. Um, yes, yeah, so Peter, I would say... Yes, the scrolling effects, there's only so much you can do with them. But you have the transform functionality. You could even add in some CSS where it does some other stuff. But um, it's all about what you're trying to achieve. Uh, do I know cooking? I've never met cooking, but I know how to cook. Um, yeah, I can cook. I can cook. I'm not, I'm not an amazing cooker, but I can, I can cook and do stuff, yeah. So back to you, Peter. Depends what you want to do with the scrolling animation. So a bit of some CSS can take it a step, step, step further. You know, so um, a lot, a lot of it does depend on what exactly you're trying to achieve. So, Azan, are you on here? You, you've emailed me a link. Are you on here? YouTube is friend. Peter Walker, um, even just for an element to be on a specific position screen and to move away at another point. Yeah, I know what you mean there. I know what you mean there. Um, you basically want an element to go from here to here, for instance, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, sometimes it takes a bit of specific workings to get it to go to a certain location, you know, to make it work. So, Azan, are you on here? Because you sent me uh, an email with a link, but I don't even know if you're on here. So, are you here, Azan? Malik. Azan, 
And to be honest, Azan, what you've sent me is not an Elemental website if you're here. And if you are listening, Azan, this is a JavaScript heavy website, all right? This is a JavaScript heavy website. Uh, and you are not going to be able to create something like that in Elemental. I can tell you now. You are. <laughs> it's a lovely website, and my son would love it, but you are not going to be able to create anything like that in Elemental if you're here, Azan. Oh, Zoom, are you watching uh, in replay? Zoom's probably watching in replay. <laughs> Come on, Zoom, get back in. Uh, so animation duration. Um, uh, um, CSS code, yeah. I'm not hot on the code for that. I'd have to dig it out and look up an example. By the way, by the way, please don't forget to go into settings for YouTube and change it to be high res because you might be watching this in 144 pixels, which is ultra, ultra rubbish resolution, right? So if the, if, if the resolution doesn't look sharp, up, this, up the resolution for the setting YouTube, all right? Get to 720 or 1080p, right? Right, 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 right. Make sure, make sure you up it. Get up to 1080. Come on, Pixar. You can stretch it. What the heck? How big is this file? Hold on, I just realized something. Do you want to email me that link, um, Peter? I'm uh, not Peter, George, and I'll paste it. I do know, um, I can cook, yeah, um, but I only cook what I want to cook. So I'm not the world's best cooker, I don't think I am, but th there's stuff I can do. Anger cooking. Uh, no, I can't do lamb or chicken biryani. I need. I am. I am not going to be good on cooking biryani myself. I need someone else to do that. Do 
Just quickly inspecting someone's website. I've forgotten how you do it. There you go. I'm blue. Dabba dee dabba die. Dabba dee dabba die. Dabba dee dabba die. Do 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 Dun 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 dun. I'm blue, da ba dee, da ba door, da dee, da ba die, da ba dee, da ba die, I I. Dun 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 uh, a subdomain for one of their websites that they've called flexbox.container. So I was just um, uh, looking at how they built it, what widgets they used. This is a great way to do it. So if you click that link and look at it, that's the Flexbox Elementor website. And I was just looking at how they built one of their uh, sections I mean, it doesn't completely reveal everything. <laughs> well, I am now downloading this person's um, backup. It's 1.6 gigabytes in size. That is big. And now I'm going to tell them, right, do you want me to still install for you? Yeah, Flexbox containers, I think we're just around the corner from it becoming officially fine to use. It's one of those things, the first time you use it, you'll be like, mm, what is this? What is this? But once you've played around and you got the hang of it, it's really simple. But you gotta get used to it. You gotta get used to it before you do it. Do it before you're used to it, and I'm not saying you struggle, but you might mm, assume it does something and then it doesn't do that. And you're still going, what? Why is that? The best way, to, I'll tell you the best way to learn. When you've got a header that you've done in the old way, create a new header using the flex box and get them to be the same or near enough or whatever. And that's how you'll learn. Because with a header, it's quite simple, right? Try that. Exactly, Pickstar is getting away from the fact that everything is like the column effect. Now it's thinking the row effect. And remember, when you're working in a column, the estate is horizontal. When you're working in a row, so things are like that, the estate is vertical to where spacing can be. Yeah, um, I've done that before as well, Dave. I've done that before. I'd have a section, one column, drop the items in. And then what I do, hey, Lone Survivor, then drop the items in. And then what I do is I use custom. You know, when you click custom for the width. And now you can use positioning whatever, you know, pixels or percentage to maneuver stuff or wrap stuff. So that's what I used to do quite a lot. So rather than having five columns, I'd have one column and then have five items positioned. And when you get your head round doing things like that, the flex container methodology will just 
sink in. It's kind of like that, except it's now done with less coding and less messing around. Did that download? No, it's still downloading. Yep. Yep, flex is better. <sighs> what has annoyed you the most today about web design? Just got your email, George. Just got it as well. What's annoyed you about web design today? What's annoyed you about web design today? Ah, yes, GoDaddy, of course, GoDaddy. Yeah, see, um, no, CSS Grid's not there yet. Ah, come on, Dave, it's Thursday. So if today you're not motivated, then take a break. You don't have to work all every day. Just take a break and look to tomorrow and think for tomorrow. It is Saturday coming up. I want to get this website kick-ass, badass tomorrow. So if you're not in the mood today. Hey, Jimmy, how are you doing? The kick-ass chat show. How are you doing? Uh, so answering Dave's question, I said, you know, um, well, basically, um, what has annoyed you about web design today? Back to Dave, if today is, does not feel like your day, you know, stop stop what you're doing. Do something you enjoy or would rather feel happy about, even if it's just sat in front of the TV with a drink or a cup of tea or a doner kebab or a lamb biryani. Mm, just imagining that makes me whatever. And then tomorrow you go, right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now. I'm going to get this done. And you nail it tomorrow. Oh, yes, what Mark says. Listening to other so-called expert, like the client with GoDaddy today. I hate to ask, Jimmy, but have you heard about that quote yet? But that's what I would do. I mean, I don't know what it's like for you, Dave. The outside, the weather is a bit, there's a bit of a chilly bite. So it's a windy, there's grey clouds coming over, but the sun is out at the moment. Do something just different, okay? Get ready. What are you eating tonight, Dave? What are you eating tonight? Cooked? Takeaway? What are you eating tonight? Tell me what you're eating tonight, Dave. I don't care what anyone else says here. What are you eating tomorrow, Dave? Oh, um, Jimmy, sometimes with CSS, right, all it means is that somewhere else there was like a, a bracket or something. Or it could even be optimization tools, combining CSS, CSS minification, could be loads of that. Exactly, George, when people say that, oh, well, it's really easy. Well, go on then. I agree with you. If they think it's so easy, why are they asking you? If they they obviously know better, right? And they and they want it for free as well because it should only take you one minute. Well, my minute is still time. It's still money. <laughs> Damn. 
Oh, man. But did you enjoy those kebabs? Did you enjoy those kebabs? Dave, where are you in the country? Where are you? You are in the UK, aren't you? Have I got it wrong again where you're from? Where are you, Dave? Where do you live? What's clamp calc? Assume. Never used it. Never heard of it. What does clamp calc do? That's what I'm thinking, what Pixstar has said there. Is it a curly bracket or a semicolon somewhere that might have... Um... What's clamp calc then? Not come across that. Yorkshire. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Windy up there, yeah. Cold. Chicken breast and sweet potato sounds good. I, I, my, my first university was Sheffield, University of Sheffield. I loved it. I really loved it up there. I, li I liked it. Ah, okay. I'll have to make a note of that one. Clamp calc. Not used it. Not come across it. I'll have to make a note of that one. Is she liking it, Sheffield University? So, double check, Jimmy, that you haven't got any combined CSS option ticked. Yeah, like George says as well, it could be that, the important, could be optimization tools, curly brackets, semicolons. Because um, is it working on the preview but not on the live? If it works on the preview... That always makes me think that it could be um, curly brackets or something. Cheers, Pickstar, for that. Okay. I'm just going to grab that video and I'm going to add it to my watch list here. Thank you very much. You're too kind. Ah, uh, Zoom, don't worry about it, okay? You're going to meet people from all walks of life and it'll just be like some people who use... Uh, some people still use Photoshop. Some people use something else, you know? It's all down to what is your preference, all right? If they want to use Laravel framework, let them use it. Let them use it. It's like someone saying, why are you eating French fries? Eat chips. Or I can't think of a good example now. Why are you drinking orange juice from a, from a, from, you know, from a store? Squeeze your own oranges. Whatever, I'll do what I want to do. Yes, yeah, so if it works on the preview, right, And also check there isn't any um, CSS or anything in the theme as well. In the theme advanced CSS. Just double check that. But that's what I mean, Sue. Like, um, 
So I used to get a lot of people um, when I was analyst saying, oh, what university did you go to? And I tell them, and I go, yeah, I did law. And they go, what? Didn't you do computer studies or analytics or SQL? I go, no, I learned myself as I went along. Yeah, but Sue, the reason why you feel uncomfortable is because they're saying, I went to university and I got this and I did this and I'm now doing this. Oh, you're still using WordPress? Do you know what? Doesn't matter. Is there a good answer for it? Well, I say, well, uh, I kind of go, well, well, okay, what would I say then if someone said that to me, right? What university you go to? I would say I didn't have to go to university to learn how to use it, right? I didn't have to go to university to learn how to do what I need to do. That's it. They can say what they want. And people like that, even if you had gone to university, they will, they, they, their intention is just to either put you down or make themselves feel more important. OK, they just want themselves to be important. That is it. So it doesn't matter what answer you gave, even if you said Steve Jobs taught you what to do. Tim Cook, Bill Gates, right? Barack Obama taught you how to do it. It would not be good enough. All right, Zoom. So don't worry. Do not worry. Just say, I didn't have to do that to be able to do what I need to do. Okay? End of. I'm happy doing what I do, how I want to do it. Go and jump into the swimming pool. Jimmy, uh, can you, um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, University of Imran, there you go. Uh, Jimmy, was your, uh, uh, do you know what, remind me again, Jimmy, your email was, um, I'm not going to say the full e um, email, Jimmy, but it's Jimmy Sebastian, isn't it? Jimmy Sebastian. I'm not going to say your full email, but Jimmy Sebastian, isn't it? Give me a yay, Jimmy, give me a yay. Yep, yeah, cool, right. Uh... I've just said, I'm going to send you both an email called CSS Help, okay? So you guys can reply to one another, all right? So, George and Jimmy, you're going to get an email. However you decide to do this, do it. If you decide to do it virtually so that you're able to touch hands as you're talking. Do it. Sort each other out, okay? And you'll be fine. Less sure. <laughs> Less sure. Yeah, Sue. The membership mastery. We don't teach you how to swim, but we do lots of stuff. So, Jimmy George, you both should get an email, okay? And then set up a, I don't know, an augmented reality chat. So you can see each other in opposite, you know, like, like digitally. And if Jimmy does not understand what George is saying, then George, you slap Jimmy. 
And Jimmy, if George doesn't help you, you slap George, okay? But sort yourselves out. Oh, C do you mean a CSS degree, George? Do you mean say CS? What is that computer studies? Do you mean computer studies? You mean computer studies, don't you? Not CSS. Uh, Jimmy, look, to be honest, right, yeah, George is probably going to be the best person to help you out on this problem. George is brilliant sorting stuff out like that. Yep, computer science. Computer science, not computer studies. Computer science, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so Zoom, okay, don't worry, all right. Um, I remember um, meeting someone and they said to me, oh, you're an analyst. And at this point, I'd only been an analyst for about six years. And I was like, yeah, I'm an analyst. And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I did this, I did this. I even got a master's in this. And I was like, okay, that's really, really good. That's really, really good. Oh, yeah, I can do X, Y, Z. And I was like, that's great. That's, that's great. Pick star sign. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but yeah, that would have been a good one too. And, I, and you know, for me, it was like, you do or you use what you've learned to do your job. But I can do as good as or better because of how I do it or how I taught myself. And I think there are some jobs out there where you have to get a degree in something to be good at it. You've got to learn it top to bottom. You know, doctor, certain things, you've got to be able to do it. But there are some things you can learn from the experts. Oh, George is... There you go. George has made first contact with Jimmy, everyone. This is a great step for mankind, okay? We, George has made contact with Jimmy. Right now, across the world, even though Jimmy is in Portugal and George is in Cyprus, so they're not too far away, George has gone around the world. So there's Portugal and there's Cyprus. George has gone around the world to get to Portugal, but they are getting close. And today they are both going to kick ass to sort this problem out. Or they'll just end up slapping each other. <laughs> I don't know, Pixar. I don't know. I'm being silly now. I'm being silly. Whoa, what is this? What's going on here? Yeah, <laughs> big stuff. Excellent. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, now, I was going to do something and I have forgotten what it was. I forgot and I was going to do something and I forgot what it was. By the way, we're only going to be live because I started really late. My son will be home in about 10, 15 minutes. I think they're doing their um, Easter egg hunt today at school. That's it, Mark. Yes, I'm so glad. That wasn't what I was thinking of, by the way. I'm glad you reminded me of that. Let me send you those. Uh, make it a new. 
Do, do, do. Remember, Mark, there's two images, okay? There's the before you hover and then what happens when you hover, all right? So don't forget that there's two images. So let me give you, there's the before, well, the normal and then the hover, whatever you want to call it, uh, after hovering. Right, sent Mark. What is an Easter egg? Easter egg is um, a chocolate egg. So it's like an egg about that big, quite big. Look, compared to my face, it'd be about that big or small or massive. Chocolate. Chocolate. George will never ban you, okay? To be honest, George, the only way you won't be on the live chat is if you don't come. If you don't come, everyone will miss you, okay? I mean, a lot of you on here are what I call the regulars, right? So if this was like a, uh, a pub or a restaurant or somewhere, right, okay, you're the regulars that just keep coming in. I shut the doors, but you still get in. I don't know how. Uh, on my test websites, Voros, I do. So on my test website, at the moment, I'm not using it on a live, live, live website. Just to be careful in case Elemental do another update, which changes things a little bit. Ah, uh, don't worry, Zoom. Don't worry, you don't have... Do you think I know about every culture, say, in um, Africa or India or Australia? I don't. So you only know what you know or you're told about. But Easter eggs, they're a great thing. In fact, if you want to give your sugar a rush, Easter eggs is when it happens. To be honest, though, with St. Patrick's Day, that is the only thing most people know. It's green. Get out your clovers. Put something green on. And go and get drunk. So for a lot of people, that's what most of them know about St. Patrick's as well. If you said to them to explain it, or even who St. Patrick's is, double that. Oh? So I will be um Well, that's what I hear, Mark, but I don't know is that what you have to drink? Everyone's well, not everyone. A lot of people say that, but I don't know if that is what you have is that well, I'm not sure. <laughs> You have a picture on the right that should scroll over the name. Yeah, um, I just got that email, Jimmy, so I'm actually having it. I'm just going to have a quick look at what the problem is as well. Which image is it? You have a picture on the right side. Oh, right. Okay. You mean it's going too fast. Hmm.
<laughs> nice one, Zoom. Guinness World Record. It's a beer, yes. Jimmy, can you just send the code? Have you added some code in there? Can you just email the code you did as well? Heine I didn't know there was a Heineken non-alcoholic. Is there a Heineken non-alcoholic? I did not know that. I didn't know there was a non-alcoholic one. Remember, everyone, I am going to be cutting this live, killing it today in about five minutes, okay? Because what I like to do is um, when my son gets home, get him something to snack on, then I like to sit with him and just go over his homework and stuff. Some daddy son time just to go over his work, make sure he's okay and all of that. <laughs> what, <laughs> what Pixstar said. <laughs> it's not what they drink if they don't want to get, if they want to get drunk. Hey, take care, Pixstar, all right. And again, I'm sorry everyone I came on late. But that's because me and Mark, we had a meeting, you know, Mark, Mark drove down, which was really cool of him. And we sat and spoke about some work and stuff. So that was really, really good and stuff. So, yeah. Do, 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 do. Yay, take care soon. In fact, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna go off, yeah, in about two minutes now, right? So if anyone's got any last questions for the kick-ass chat show, ask them now, okay? Ask them now. In fact, if Pickstar, if you quickly email the photo now, Quickly email the photo now. I'll share it on screen. Ah, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, send it to send it when you can, and I'll share it on screen. And then we can all. By the way, um, can you all make sure you order a new keyboard from Amazon? Please make sure you order a new keyboard on Amazon, because when Pixstar shares that photo, we're gonna salivate onto the keyboard and damage the keyboard. So make sure you've got a backup keyboard, all right? Because it will explode in your face, all right? Yeah, you do it, Pickstar, all right? You do what you do with your hands, right? And what any other part of you, your body, you use. You make it, you cook it, you share it, and we'll pretend to eat it. Cool, just waiting for, ah, uh, okay, yep, cool, got the code. Yep, here's the code. So, so what you've done is uh, you've got WebKit transition, ease in and out, yeah, transition is five seconds, yeah. Um, hmm. Mm, I'm not sure about that one, Jimmy. I have to be honest, um, I'm not sure about that one. Oh, no, it's... um. So, Dave, Jimmy's image is it's quite a long image. So, I think five seconds is a nice gradual, you know, so I think that's quite good. Hey, Catherine, I'm about to shut down. I'm so sorry. I'm about to shut down. But having you here... Just for one minute, 
has lifted the room, okay? Has lifted the room. You've actually now made it more happy because before, right, it has been so bad in the last hour in here. Everyone in here has shamefully, I, I, I don't even want to say, but everyone in here has shamefully been kicking GoDaddy's ass. Shamefully. Actually, we all enjoyed it, so we don't care. <laughs> but glad to have you here. Oh, nice one, George. There you go. Nice one, George. Ah, transition delay. Nice one, George. Hey, all I've done is 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 create a conduit. All I've done, Jimmy, is create a conduit for you and George to connect. That's all I've done, a conduit, right? I'm like the space worm, right? I am a space worm, okay? Time, space has no meaning in here. Einstein would love the relativity rubbish we can do here with getting things to work and meet, all right? Um, and I hope we all just keep going from strength to strength to strength, okay? Um, because learning and sharing and supporting one another is, it's a great way to learn, isn't it? And for so many of us that are working from home, it's great. And like I said, I'll be testing out EV Mux, uh probably tomorrow or Saturday on Google Chrome. And if it works all okay, some of you, when you want to, okay, no one has to do it. If you ever want to join with your webcam or whatever cam and you want to talk as well, Go for it, okay? Because it, it it'll be it'll be like we're all working in one big office. Except Pixstar gets to eat in the office. We don't get to eat. So it's a little bit unfair. Yeah, cheer, cheers, cheers, Pixstar. Yeah, Dave, you know, so like, you know, um if and by the way, if you don't want to be on camera but you just wanna talk, that's okay as well. So once we get, once we got the multi-streaming bit working, right, you can be on camera with your microphone or just be on the microphone, right? Ha, delivers food all over the place. Right, I am now shutting down because my son is home. So I've got to go and talk to him now, right? Check he's not done anything bad. He doesn't. I've just got to check up on him. Right, everyone. Today's been really good fun. For the live chat kick ass show. All right. Um, look forward to your um, uh, response, uh, George. Look forward to seeing that. See you all soon, tomorrow, and I will be on time. Take care. I've got to turn off first. Take care. Bye.